Yo. Alright. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. My name is Rune Aldred. Let me check the audio quality here. Hello, everybody. Okay, we are good. Hello, everybody. My name is Rune Aldred once again, and welcome to a Sunday episode of Hogwarts Legacy. If you missed the last episode and you're watching on YouTube, please check it out in the index card up above. We did uh, the very first trial for Rakim, Rockham, whatever his name is, the old professor from way back in the day. Oh, we're continuing right where we left off. This has been a very uneventful week for me and YouTube due to the simple fact that um, I've had to switch up my internet a bit because I've been having issues and stuff like that. So I'm very happy to be able to live stream right now and be able to bring you guys some type of content as I try to have like a regular work week with YouTube. Let's go ahead and look at the map and see exactly where I'm going. I'm way over here. I'm heading that way. Look, I want to go to the roadmap. Thank you. Should have been paying a little bit more attention. I was not. Um, quests. We'll look at quests. Locate Lodgot the Goblin, attend Beast class, and find out what Galdwin moves. Class, the caretaker's lunar lambnet. The hogless caretaker wishes to speak with me about something. Okay, first off, we should do the beast class because I feel like that's going to be important to obtaining the fantastic beasts so we know where to find them. That was a very horrible pun, and you guys could hate me for it all you want. Let's wait. Hopefully this teaches me how to capture the beasts for the rumor requirement. Oh, that felt so good. Welcome, I don't know if you guys everyone. heard that, but I hope you did. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous. Can I use them as weapons? One does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Oh, oh thank Professor you. Howen. Hello, I'm Hello. Happy. Called me Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly... Oh, it's so adorable. <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. On Just Gerald? Keep his tongue. <laughs> Just keep an eye on Fred. Yes. You can Let use my brush. Just be gentle. Just oh, start recording. Thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Um, um. There we go. Brush could be used to groom beasts. Let me groom you, Gerald. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Do you feel much better? I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Alright. Y'all don't really give me much room for all these spells. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. He seems so adorable. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good what is he ambitious for? Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, 
Why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Alright. I shall follow. I assume those are Neasles? The cat looking creatures? Oh. A couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. I'm already not liking this guy. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Smash his head into the fence. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. I'm so glad, like, my character has a firm stance. <sighs> Let's go. Aww. They're like a giant mancoon. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches and training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Here you go. Have some little pellets. Have some pellets. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Aww. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourself out. Now, I was about to say, can I go in there with him? Student. I'm right here. There you are. Look I at the blue like flowing moment, coat. Please. Hello, Professor. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I very it much enjoyed it. I believe I'm really going to enjoy it. I'm going to be class. spinning you hours know? beyond hours you with the beast. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital a role kitty. in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials. Just it's staring right at community. me. Which does not you okay? You okay, buddy? Whiskers. You just sitting down there staring well, at me. You want up here? Come on. Way, probably best to let me Come on. handle it next time. Aye. Yes, professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poke. You can lay down. Or you could hug me. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over <laughs> Give the camera a lovely view. Waste of I'm so sorry, Surely guys. Can be brought to justice by someone. Let me, let me turn fast. slightly. Hmm. I'll turn this idea. way. Give you guys yeah. not a straight Why shot into my cat's bunghole. Immediate matters that we can control. Professor Aye, Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Lay down. Time. Come on, buddy. Lay down. Just lay in my lap. Over here. Yes, I hear you. Poppy. Poppy Please sweeting. Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Oh, at least well, thank that's you. That's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Sounds interesting. Very well. Lead the Secret way. meeting I in the forest. Did. Sounds fun. Oh, I okay. wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. Oscar. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Hi, buddy. The weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Okay, as of right now, I can't use any of my spells, so don't we're just gonna follow we're her. Nearly there. It's just ahead. I wonder if I could tame the monsters too. 
Stand back. I like spiders. Hey. Hey. Look, I love you and all, Oscar, but you got you got lay down, buddy. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she oh, just hi, High Wing? You are. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Am I gonna get a hippogriff? Am I gonna have to do something? Let me bow. So he bowed, and the hippogriff bows. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. I love how it levitates. Even though it'd be cool to throw it up and watch him catch it. So, what did you think of High Wing? She was brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on Whiskey. the ministry to help. I don't Leave the router alone. Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers Sorry, I got another cat growing. that's just up in the window. Every day in the village. Right where my router is at. People, they're up to something. And he just will just swat it off the window seal. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Would be good to investigate. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You see, exactly. I'm deterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll be just speak again soon, in the face. Alright, good. Beast class. Let me just squeeze the juice out of these leeches. Just took a beast class in how to be kind to them, but I'm gonna squeeze the ever living juice out of them. Quests. Uh, Professor Sharps attend potions class during the day. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade. Acquire a venomous tentacula. Collect troll boogies. Cast the pulso. Okay. Need to attend a potions class. Next, Central Hall. Potions class. What happened? Something bite your ear? You're like, dude, I'm just trying to watch you play video games, okay?
Captain, when Professor Sharp is so intimidating. That was a good sign. I love how I'm nowhere in class. Like it's gonna show all the students and then I have nothing. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Is the pulso a spell? Let your mind wander. What does the pulso do? You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think it's perhaps best not to go flinging your past down the walls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Where is the pulso? Is that it right there? Oh. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Good, good, good. Stabbing your claws into my elbow, buddy. Like my inner elbow. Main assignments. Let's look here again. Pop balloons, acquire venomous, acquire and use a mandrake, and troll bogies. Relationships, side quests, and those are all completed. One more for trusts, one and a three game sticks. Alright. Oh my gosh, I, f I can learn the lock picking. That's going to be good. Didn't mean to just brush up against my mic. Speed to Sona, pick your game sticks. I just need to find a way outside. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jump. Actually. Really wish I sometimes I could just jump over railings. Like, come on. It's down here. Yeah, that's where you don't see anything. Reveal myself! But in a good way. Re Reveal myself, but in a good way. Quests, map. All this need. Travel. We'll also go and pop the balloons real quick. Oh, so baby, who's my good little bubbers? Yes, you are. And then we got whiskey in the window seal where he's always at. through hugs mead and look for the weather balloons I 
know it's over here. There they are. The balloons I need. Stately in its time. I mean, it still is quite a thing to take in. There we go. I need to keep going to three broomsticks. Jump. Okay, then let me jump and roll. Jump. Roll, no roll. Go, okay, can't lock pick yet. Sir. Rebellion. Any floating book pages? <laughs> Complete the task I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. All right, stop this, Serona. So Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <laughs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met mm, when I was waiting that's a claw here right a in my nipple, well buddy. The place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal hey, trader. Buddy, I'm gonna have you, you should go down. Both. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Well, have you heard Did about you know the two? Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together. Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. <sighs> Thank you, Serena. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I shall. I don't know what you've if done he gives to make me the option. Enemies, but please, watch your back. Thank you. <coughs> the water edge is drunk, it's going down the wrong tube. I'm slowly choking and dying, but it's okay. okay. Oh, he's snoring, that's what I'm hearing. 
I just clocked that kid camera. with a freaking you door. Me. Welcome to the Ogs Head. Any empty seat is yours. But a beer. <sighs> that is such a satisfying little team. Rebellion. Mounted Hog's Head. Hey, Logger. Hello, Lord Gok. Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. Did she did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually. I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona, Sorona trusts, trusts me. me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well... If Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. All right. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. All right, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Let's look at quests real quick. I should go there to learn that real quick. Pop balloons over Hogsmeade Station. Did I not just do this? Uh, acquire and use the Bamboo Tecula. Acquire the use of an ability, Invisibility Potion. Acquire and use a Fender Brew Potion again. So we are going to go do a couple of things. And I only have one talent point, so I'll keep hold of my talent. What's my challenges menu look like? Exploration. Form appearance reward. That's always useful. <sighs> There's the balloons I need to pop. Missed one. Let's try that again. Come on. And pop. Boom. Where was it? I literally feel like I just saw- okay, there it is. I was like, I know I saw it a few seconds ago. Brilliant. Brilliant. 
Badam Kagawa. Kagawa. Oh, she has a way in through there. Seminar's court match? Okay. That's cool. I really wish Quidditch was in this game. Like, I really, really wish Quidditch was a uh, part of this game. How did you get on with those tasks? Dear Madam Rogawa, marvelous and you a marvelous news that you'll be joining with Althea Hogwarts as a new flying instructor. Work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yaffa Harbor. No one knows, I shall follow. Okay, cool. I can't play portfolio for this entire year. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? I did. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. I was like, that was a crazy looking spell. Well done. I recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before. Okay, let me first find Glacius. Oh, it's up here. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I say very well. I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. All these Summoner's kids want to step up and challenge me, eh? Changing game. I hear. in the wrist. Okay, I didn't realize the ball would bounce. On that one. Lucky shot. Nothing to it. All right, all right. Ah, 
Damn it. Okay, you know what? I want to rematch. Didn't think you were a match for me. I fought a Kadama. I won. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for Let's another do it. round. Grand. You can I want to win. Okay. Summoner's Court, the ever changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. I'll let you have that one. Akio. All in the wrist. Mother fucker. I've seen worse. Without a good ever. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Wanna go again I'm game for another round. Because I wanna Grand. beat you. You could use the practice. Yeah, I know I could use some practice. Summoner's court. The ever changing game. Akio. Confuso! Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Take that, fool. Try to beat that. I still win. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Well done. I thought I could have it. Uh, that's right. I'm the greatest. The greatest alive. Bit of good luck. That's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine. You're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose Yeah, you right. beat me two out of the I'll three let times. I'll the know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Good, good, good. Okay, where am I going now? Uh, quests. That's what I need to do. Onai. Stability. And find a way 
way up there. Ready for it, ready for it, ready for it. Jump here. This flume station. Here we go up here now. Revenio. Just keep running. Don't see me. Alright, let's keep wandering around aimlessly. What the hell? Our neighbor at home knows someone who's related to the invented cellar growth. It's true. Nymphid of Stink came as long as that is cool. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I'm ready to take on all challengers, if I can find any. You're welcome. Hat of Levitation. I love that there's always something random going on in this game. Like, you could look somewhere and catch something hey, very interesting. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Hi, Gareth Weasley. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own brews. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Uh, I'd be happy to. Sounds simple enough. Guys, who knows what else I'll find? Oh, Maybe I'll find brilliant. some other stuff I need. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Hey, Goblin. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I it suppose was. you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. So we just stood here all day? 
That ain't creepy at all. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, to see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, Odd little moon. contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, <laughs> that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form of a pandemic eyes. A demi. <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigods. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, Thank you. as macabre and hideous as a There's a ghost. Most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be happy I'd to be help glad you. to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Thou oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Voila! Unlock the door! Hello, Hamora. Oh, fun. Use I to move the sparks to rotate down and double cars. Oh, sorry, I activated it. It's the lock.
There we go, I learned it. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a... Alohomora. There we go. This is dear Maribel. My dear Dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I could have been so to stop in for a butter beer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'll be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones ever since the troll attacks, customers have been complaining about the smell. Believe it or not, old socks, nothing I've seen to cover up the stench. Okay. I can't spend the globe. Professor Fig, I am a recipient of your most recent owl. Now that you've been so steamed with the so just you may rest sure that we have matters well in hand. Should you finish, I hide. Okay, so you can sense me. How are your students getting on with them? Oh, yeah, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Sorry, Miss Weasley. You can walk away too now, sir. Let's 
it walk away. Revenue. Jeweled encrusted tortoise shell. Huh. Must be the prefect's bathroom. And there we go. Keep going. Grab it. Come on, go away. Oh, I suppose I should take Lucera's pension in the next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. Show yourself. Ha! My instincts are never wrong. I knew someone was intruding here. mean how dare you spot me right, here we go Hogwarts school witchcraft and wizard tree nurses Noreen Bailey this patient was injured during a Quidditch match, though my professor was never there for the professor, but I hardly counted an injury. See, truly, I hurt all my eyes, so... Gosh, Professor Black. Or Headmaster Black, whatever your name may be. Go there. Hello. 
Up, my dearly in Abraham, you would have enjoyed it. Another joint of the thing and playing with the signs of the street of the same window, blah blah. The pot of gold. Mr. Moon, I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Oh my god, no! It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember... The moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, cool, 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 cool. oh I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Rebellion. Portrait of a Barufalo. Okay, let's look at quests. Find Largot the Goblin. This looks like the one. Map. Roadmap. We'll go over this way. Away we go. I'm ready. There we go. Good. There's no time to lose. I feel like it's going to be leading me to a what trap. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. <gasps> The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. 
She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is Rebellion. the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Well, that's good. Well, that was fun. And I think I completed one of my challenges. Yeah? 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 Okay, that's no sharps. No. Cast the pulse on a levitated enemy. Yep. Where are we going? Where's this tomb? I'm like, I'm following you, so you gotta lead me. Even though you're running like right beside me. This looks like a tomb entrance, so we're gonna go up here. Yeah. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? You can't imagine how inconvenient. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? <sighs> I'm ready. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your arrival. <sighs> Please. This seems like a good place to stop as any. I gotta get ready for work and I want to kinda lean back and relax for the next uh, 20 minutes or so before I go to work. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, there will be more regular uploads here this week. Um, look forward to another episode of Harry Potter next Sunday. Um, I will be finishing off South Park Fractured Butthole, even though I thought I already had the game beat. I just finished the Casa Bonita DLC, and now I have one more DLC to finish in that before we start South Park Snow Day, so keep an eye out for that. We did just finish Dead Space for the throwback video game series. You guys should check that out as well. I'll see you in the next episode. Toodaloo, everybody.